this is hilarious. This is like the motorway service stop for all the professional cycling teams in the UK. Same pair on just kind of the other side of that car. How weird, like I choose to stop at this service is and I see one bike channel canyon rider, I see the whole same parent team, and I think there's some more bike channel. No, wait. Yeah. Okie dokie, we have just arrived and I've got kitted up straight away. We're gonna head out for a ride now. Um, I'm not gonna take any camera with me apart from my phone, so it's just gonna be a little bit of a montage. Looks super cool. Sweet potato. Tomorrow is tomorrow is a Charlie Grand Prix. So the route is exactly the same as last year. If you remember, I did a yeah. I'm pretty sure I did, made a video of last year's where Bibby won and I was third. Uh, you better check that one out if you want to see last year's. But it's on the same circuit. Um, it uh, starts and finishes uh, on Park Road Trolley. Uh, there's 4K neutral, uh, and each lap, we're doing five laps, each lap is 23 miles or 37 kilometers. <clears throat> Therefore, the race distance is 116 miles or 160, uh, 186 kilometers. All in all, it takes around four and a half hours to complete. So the course climbs for pretty much the first. 11 kilometers and then the rest of it is kind of rolling and gradual downhill it really is like one of the harder uh, elite road series events that the British cycling put on in the UK um, same kind of thing last year the the race uh, finished in a situation where Bibby was away on his own uh, perfect situation for us I got in the break that was just behind that therefore I didn't have to do one single tap one single turn on the front of that group of four, I think there was, four or five of us. And then it was just a simple case of like placing myself well in that final sprint, which, uh, which I was happy with. By the time you're watching this video though, you'll know who's won, you'll know where I finished, and um, as much as I'd like to say we've got a 
really good chance tomorrow. Well, we do. Some great riders in this race. I mean, don't get me wrong. This is the place where you know all the best riders in in the UK come and battle it out to try and see who's the best. It's not like the national championships, but it's like a mini one every time we show up to do these kind of races. The issue we've got currently for this race, and it's not an excuse because for those of you who follow the sport, you'll know uh, the situation that we're in. Currently, as it is now Saturday, um, since Wednesday, half of our team have been out in France to do the Tour of Loire Cher, uh, a five day stage race, I think I'm correct, from Wednesday to Sunday. Now, with six riders being out there, plus two, sorry, three riders who are currently in the Commonwealth Games and Gold Coast Australia. Uh, by the way, John Mould, what a hero, uh, picking up second silver medal in the road race just today. Well done, John. So, to the, tomorrow, we have literally got a, a bare bones team. We've got four guys doing this race tomorrow where everybody else has eight. So, what are we going to do? That's the big question. But the, the plan this evening now is to um, give my bike a little bit of a wipe down because it did get a bit muddy on today's ride. We're all going to meet downstairs at uh, half six and we are going for, uh, I think we're going to an Italian joint that uh, Gullan recommended. So we're going down there, we're going to have some big bowls of pasta, moderate bowls of pasta tiny bowls of pasta yeah and then back here and, and wrap up it. as you know we like to keep it real on these videos and uh, yeah this is the backbone of cyclist life watching TV on your laptop in your hotel bedroom before a race with a packet of MMs. See you tomorrow.